I ran out of my stock of color, so I'm going to have to use it very carefully. Oops, put a little bit too much on. Don't worry, that'll wear off in a minute or so. This is embarrassing. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Black and white has been around a while, ever since the days of paintings. Here's a lovely black and white drawing I made. Isn't it so artistic? Also, there's black and white photography and, of course, video and black and white cookies. Who knew black and white could be so delicious? Contrary to popular opinion, white is actually a color, but black isn't. When we split light apart, we create a dashing little rainbow. This is because white light is composed of all visible colors. When you see something that is white, you are literally seeing every single color reflected back at you. And we call that color white. But black is just the opposite. Close your eyes and what do you see? Black. Black is the ambient color, the color we see when there is no light. Black is the absence of color. But that's just with the human eye. With art, the opposite is true. The ambient color of this paper is white, and it's only when we add black that we have any color. So to answer the question of whether black or white is really a color really depends on the context. Either way, black and white is still delicious. I apologize for the colorful language on screen right now.